so welcome back in this video we are going to apply the conservation of energy which is our learning objective 5.2 b so problem solving with conservation of energy these are a few tips here what we should do is first define the system select the location of zero gravitational potential energy which means where the h is equals to zero we identify at which point we have gravitational potential energy is zero if it involves spring identify whether your spring is unstretched at which particular point x is equals to zero draw diagram if necessary if the diagram is not given select the body of interest and identify two points so this is very important you have to know which is the initial part and final part of the system and then define symbol that will be used in the problem list known values and identify what we are trying to Fine. Then we can apply the conservation of energy equation and then we can solve for the unknown. Typically, what we are looking for is obviously the speed ataupun the position which is the H lah. Salah satu yang kita nak cari selalunya in the question. So, let us look at one example here. Example 5, eh, sorry, example 8 from the notes. So, what we have here is a roller coaster car shown in the figure is pulled up to point 1 where it is released from a rest. Assuming no friction, Calculate the speed at the points 2, 3 and 4. So we want to find the velocity here, velocity here and also velocity at this particular point. So these are our objective here. You are going to find the Vs. So as you can see here, they cakap solve for the unknown, typically speed or a position. So basically kita nak cari speed lah dalam kes ni. And as you can see, your roller coaster initially started from here. Dia start daripada sini. This is where your roller coaster going to go. It start from 1, it goes to 2, and then lepas 2, dia pergi ke 3, and then 3 to the 4 here. Alright, as you can see, it has 4 position dia berubah daripada 1 pergi ke 2, 2 pergi ke 3, 3 pergi ke 4. Okay, so, as you can see here, dalam soalan dia mention, it is released from rest at point 1. So, maksudnya, bila dia cakap release from, from rest, the initial velocity here is 0. Kita tak ada initial velocity and then it had it has a height of h1 from the ground h1 diberi sebanyak 32 meter okay so you can identify that at point 1 the energy yang kita ada dekat sini adalah kinetic energy jadi kosong because the initial velocity is zero the potential energy here becomes mgh1 and the h1 here is 32 meter Ini adalah energy yang kita ada dekat point 1 sini. And then it goes to point 2. Bila dia sampai dekat point 2 sini. Alright, this is our reference point for H. Your H started from here. So, maksudnya bila kamu dah sampai, you are literally on the ground. H dekat sini sama dengan kosong. The H here is equals to 0. Okay, since H here is 0, U kita akan sama dengan 0. U adalah potential energy because the H to H dekat titik kedua adalah kosong. Okay. Tak ada gravitational potential energy. Obviously, you have kinetic energy because energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Bila dia tengah travel daripada point satu ni, dia dah ada energy daripada potential energy. Bila dia sampai sini, kalau potential jadi kosong, all the energy has been converted into kinetic energy. Maksudnya, memang ada kinetic energy dekat sini. Dan kalau kamu tengok pun, dia suruh cari velocity dekat titik kedua itu. Objektif kita adalah nak cari this one. Okay. And then, dekat tiga pula, at three here, your object from two, it goes up to three. So, bila dia sampai tiga, soalan memang suruh cari velocity. So, kita tahu kita akan ada kinetic energy and dia berada pada ketinggian H3 daripada paras ground ini where H3 is 26 meter. So, indirectly, Apa yang kita dapat nampak dekat sini, at point 3, kita ada both the energy kinetic ada, potential pun ada kinetic energy dekat sini akan sama dengan 1 over 2 m V dekat titik 3 square. Alright, where we want to find this V3. Ada juga gravitational potential energy, MGH3, di mana H3 adalah 26 meter. Okay, and then it continue the motion pergi ke 4 sini. Bila sampai 4, Titik empat ni, objek kamu sampai, soalan suruh cari velocity, obviously kita akan ada kinetic energy because 
kinetic energy is associated to the velocity motion of an object. So, ada velocity, ada kinetic energy dan juga berada pada ketinggian H2 daripada ground. Okay, so it has both kinetic energy half m v4 square. So, we are looking for v4 here and also u mgh. Dia guna simbol 2 dekat sini untuk 0.4. H2 dalam soalan dia bagi 14 meter. Alright. So, kita dah tahu all the energy that involve at all these particular point. Okay. So, untuk menjawab soalan, we are going to apply the conservation of energy. Conservation of energy states that energy initial kena sama dengan energy final. Alright. Dalam kes ni, mana satu initial, mana satu final. Okay. Obviously, kita akan terfikir ini initial point ini final point dekat sini. Yes, tak salah. However, you can split them into small parts. Okay, sebab bila dia berada dekat sini, the energy here is going to be the same at every point. Energy dekat setiap titik ini akan sama. Energy dia tidak akan berubah. So, untuk memudahkan kira-kira kita, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this into few category. Okay, saya akan jadikan point 1 dengan point 2 satu case. Point 2 dengan point 3 another case. Point 3 and point 4 another case. Where I'm going to have E1, E at 1 as my initial, E at 2 as my final. Sebab energy dekat 1 kena sama dengan energy dekat 2. Okay. So kita akan buat untuk case. Point 1 and also point 2 dulu. Energy initial akan jadi energy at 1. Kena sama dengan energy final which is energy at 2. Energy at 1, K1 plus U1. Kena sama dengan K2 plus U2. As we have identified here, K1 kita adalah kosong. Energy, kinetic energy at point 1 adalah 0. So, ini automatically kosong. U1 akan jadi M G H1. Sama dengan K2. Kinetic energy dekat titik kedua. Half M V2 square. U2, potential energy dekat titik kedua adalah 0. So, this one automatically becomes 0. Okay. And then, kalau kamu tengok dalam soalan, dia tak bagi tahu pun the mass of the roller coaster car. Dia tak bagi tahu mass of the roller coaster car. However, you have M on both side. Kiri kanan equation ada M. So, apa kita boleh buat adalah, kita boleh cancel them. G adalah gravity 9.81. H1 dekat sini adalah 32 meter. 1 over 2. And you are left with unknown yang kita nak cari which is V2. So, sekarang ambil calculator, tekan. Jangan lupa, buang suai root. So, you get your V2 as 25.06 ms negative 1. Maka, kita berjaya deduce velocity dekat titik kedua ini. Alright. So, next, apa yang saya nak buat adalah, saya nak cari velocity dekat titik ketiga. To find the velocity at point 3 here, I'm going to compare my 2 and 3. Okay, boleh juga compare 1 and 3. Tak ada masalah. Boleh compare 1 and 3 ataupun 2 and 3. Because the energy is the same at every point. Because energy is constant. Cannot be created nor destroyed. Okay. So, okay, tak apalah kita compare 1 dengan 3. Tak ada masalah. Compare 1 dengan 3. Energy 1 kena sama dengan energy 3 sekarang. Energy 1 kita K1 plus U1. Sama dengan K3 plus U3. K1 kita kosong. U1 adalah Mg H1 sama dengan K3 adalah half Mv3 square campur dengan U3 Mg H3. Okay, ini adalah poin ketiga kita. Okay, so as you can see here, M is unknown. Dekat belah kanan ni, dua-dua term ada M. So, kita factorize M dulu. 1 over 2. V3 yang kita nak cari. Campur dengan 9.81. H3 adalah 26 meter. Alright. Ini pula M is unknown. 9.81. H1 adalah 32. So M kiri kanan ada. Kita cancel. And then you can do your max. Tolak dengan 0.81. 9.81 times 26. And then you divide with 1 over 2. So you should get your V square root. Sebanyak V at point 3 kita sama dengan 10.85 ms negatif 1. Yes, 
8, 5 ok Lari 0.0, 1 dekat sini Doesn't matter here Ok, masih dalam range plus minus 10% itu So, kita dah dapat velocity at 0.3 juga Sekarang kita nak cari velocity at 0.4 Ok, velocity at 0.4 So at point 4 all boleh compare tak kisah Nak compare 1 dengan 4 boleh 2 dengan 4 boleh 3 dengan 4 pun boleh Tak ada masalah Semua pun boleh So let's say I still want to compare 1 and 4 dekat sini Saya nak stick to 1 and 4 So saya akan ada energy 1 sama dengan energy at 4 MGH1 sama dengan Kalau at 4 tadi kita deduce that Dia ada both the energy Kinetic energy ada Gravitational energy pun ada So you're going to have Half M V at 4 square campur dengan MGH Dia guna subscript 2 untuk Height dekat point 4 So we are going to follow that subscript Saya nak factorize M dulu 1 over 2 V is what we are looking for Plus with 9.81 Darab dengan height dia diberi sebanyak Height 2 H2 Is where your point 4 is Adalah 14 meter 14 Alright, this one M is unknown, 9.81, H1 masih 32, 9.81 times 32. Okay, M kita boleh cancel sebab kiri kanan ada. And then you can do your max here, tekan-tekan calculator. Square root, so saya dapat V at 4 sebanyak 18.79. MS negatif 1 Maka dah berjaya cari Velocity at 0.4 juga Iaitu 18.79 Meter per second sorted Ok, tak ada masalah Awak boleh compare energy at 2 dengan 3 juga Sebagai initial and final 3 dan 4 juga Ataupun energy at 2 dengan 4 juga Boleh semua boleh, tak ada masalah Sebab kita tahu energy at every point Must be 